present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, it just happens to be Saturday afternoon, October the 25th, 2014. And yes, it is All Hallows Eve week, and plus All Souls Day, plus the Day of the Dead, which happens to be next Sunday, which is probably, there's a good chance that I will be doing the show on November 2nd, Sunday, November 2nd, Day of the Dead. Um, all Hallows, All Hallows Eve, uh, Halloween, Happy Halloween, uh, the reason why I am not dressed for Halloween is because every time I dress for Halloween, in the past for these shows, uh, people would leave comments under the show on YouTube that they can't take our show seriously because I'm dressed like a pirate or I have a, a, a court jester's hat on, they can't take me seriously. And I, and, I, and I should never, I should not dress in a silly outfit. It's always, it's always somebody with something critical to say. So therefore, I am me. I, I am me. I am your host for the show. Welcome to Uncensored, Hard Hitting Truth. I am your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life Twenty One. I am coming to you. Uh, live and recorded from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. And uh, it is a beautiful, uh, unseasonably warm autumn day, as you can see behind me. The screen is open. Um, and I would like to formally introduce, right now, my illustrious longtime co host and mentor, uh, and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977. The one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? So those people who criticize... Me being dressed like a pirate. They, they accept their content only from what they consider to be legitimate sources. In other words, these are the same people Are those legitimate sources CNN? MSNBC and the other uh, medias that are uh, uh, owned and operated by the CIA who pay their journalists? Is that uh, how it is? Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're lemmings. They're, um, they're sheeple. They, 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 they get their information from mainstream media. They are also um, lazy. Lazy. Because some are ignorant. Some are just flat-out stupid, uneducated people. These are the same people that criticize uh, our our lack of a state-of-the-art high-tech studio. Well, I okay. Just, yeah, what I'm where we do our show. They'll criticize where we do the show and they'll criticize uh, the aesthetics. You know, if I'm dressed as a pirate for Halloween or if I'm not. Like, they, they, they'll never mention the content of what we discuss. Bingo. That's what I'm trying to say. Bingo. They never mention it. Yeah. Because they they want the they want the. Uh, uh, y y have you ever uh, visited Fox News in the afternoon uh, at the uh, Shepard Smith uh, show? No. Oh my God! His new. His new room, his new newsroom, has all gigantic video screens and. Huge touch screens, and it's just state of the art. I wonder if they utilize all but that. But the lies keep coming. Oh, sure, Fox News. Well, in other words, it, it, it's so. What does that stuff prove? So what you're saying is ostentatious. It's it, it sh it, it's it's there to, to impress the viewers, uh, but the content sucks. The content is is false. Yeah. They lie. So, what's the point? What is the point? What's the point? Well, we have a very cozy, 
uh, humble ab uh, abode or, or, or location where we do the show. It's, it's very cozy and uh, I think it makes the general public feel more comfortable to listen to us because we're all about content. Hey, the Honeymooners, Jackie Gleason show there. That was an extremely low budget show. Okay. You know, you were. thought you Star thought Trek was. You, you thought you were on a street in Brooklyn, and it was it was a, like a painting in the background. I'm Europe, uh, the, the old Soupy Sales show, extremely low budget. Uh, Uncle Floyd's uh, uh, low budget again, but they were successful shows at, at, in their time. People didn't care. Hey, Carol Burnett show, didn't they crack up constantly laughing at themselves while while they were doing the skits? Mm -hmm. Some might call that unprofessional. Ah. But, hey, you can't argue with success. So, mm -hmm. anyway, aside from all this, I want to say uh, uh, hello and greetings to my near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello, Miho. And also to my good friend, a former uh, WWE star and uh, 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 competitive uh, bodybuilder and grappler. And, and present day uh, premier personal trainer extraordinaire in South Florida, Mr. Ken Thiessen, who wrestled under the name, I believe, uh, Rocco Cipriano, and he was a personal trainer for Vince McMahon. Greetings, Ken Thiessen, who's also the president of Train to Win, Akara USA. I don't know if you could see Akara USA. You might not, but you might. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Because I stood up. Put your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. See, train to win. Train to win. Number one. Every we are number one. Train to win. This is his the T-shirt he sent me. He's the president of Train to Win. Train to Win. Number one. Everyone else, hot poo. It can only be number one. You know. I, I, one number one. Creme de la creme. I only I only say say it in that manner because I'm imitating the uh, Hall of Famer, the Iron Sheik. What he used to do, Iran number one, Iran number one, USA Hapu. You know, you remember that. But anyway. Number one in supporting terrorists. Well, let's do a little uh, Chisler's Hall of Shame. Here we have Ronzoni Healthy Harvest All Natural 100% Whole Grain Linguini. Sounds good. Oh, it sounds good. It even has a uh, a nice recipe in the back. Cool. But that's not why I'm holding this box. Don't throw that box away. Okay. I'm holding this so box. You say the well, recipe. Rienzi makes makes the similar stuff too. I'll but I'm it to it okay. I'm holding this box mm -hmm. because I want to make this an example uh, of our our inductee this week into the Chisler's Hall of Shame. Ronzoni, the company that makes Ronzoni, and the reason why I'm inducting them, I'm trying to find out to see if Ronzoni still makes Ronzoni. <laughs> Distributed by New World Pasta Company, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh. All right. Jobs, jobs. So, shame on you, Ronzoni, and even Rienzi, and all the uh, popular pasta companies for the despicable minuscule downsizing of their product it used to be one pound always 16 ounces 16 ounces now this box is 12 ounces ah! you might or might not be able to see the 12 but take my word for it it's 12 That's ounces one quarter a pound gone what the hell am I gonna do Evaporated. with with 12 ounces of pasta this is like, if I, if me and, Ken let, Thiessen. let's say my mother, Ooh. or anybody who eats less than me, I, I'd still be hungry. Actually, I've eaten this, and I had to use less clam sauce, right. less crab meat, right. when I made my seafood sauce, uh, white seafood sauce. I had to use less because it's only 12 ounces. This did not fill me up, man. This Look at the box. Look at the box. Well, it's a pretty box. No, I'm talking about the size. 
12 ounces. It's 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 worse. It looks bigger than you know. Yeah, it's regular 14 or 15 ounces. It's worse. It's worse. Ounce it's size. worse than 13 ounces, which I think might be Rienzi or 14. But go. come on, give me a break. 12 ounces. What am I going to do with 12 ounces of pasta? So thank God this other supermarket shop right near me still has some companies that sell you 16 ounces of pasta mm. whatever shape you desire whole wheat mind you mm -hmm. i think luigi vitelli luigi vitelli is still one pound but this is insane shame on you this is despicable this is like i mean this is corporate greed this is contempt for the consumer this is deregulation in action yeah it's deregulation it's all deregulation and I'm gonna read the main topic next that is connected to deregulation I feel but this is insane 12 ounces give me a break no oh okay thank you thank you okay now I mean mind mind you there are um, other companies too to have whole wheat pasta. What about Brillas? That's still 16 ounces or no? No, they they or downsize. Do it, do they, they don't make whole no, wheat. No, they no they do. Barilla actually, to be honest with you, Barilla makes a whole grain, but it's a multi whole grain with soy protein in it. Really? But we yes, can't trust soy today. Can't well, because it. GMO. But yeah, Barilla makes it. They downsize too, so shame on you also. Barilla into the Chisler's Hall of Shame. Mm -mm -mm. But Barilla, Rienzi, I believe, uh, Ronzoni, uh, Butoni, I don't even know if they're still around. But and yeah. other other companies. Shame on you. Chisler's Hall of Shame. The, the ever continuing downsizing of the product volume with the prices remaining the same uh, or higher, higher. Ah, there you go. And like I always say, like I always say, for those idiots out there that believe in, if that believe Ronald Reagan is your patron saint and believe in the uh, trickle-down economics, trickle-down economics, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, um, voodoo economics or Reaganomics, it's all bullshit. What you have is siphon up to the top 1 to 20 percent economics. The devil's economics mm. is what you have with American crony capitalism. Mm. Siphon up economics. Never trickle down. Alright, this is a siphon by the way. It's an aquarium siphon, but it's a siphon nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Happy autumn. Here's gourd number two. I picked out three very odd shaped ones. This is a very popular ornament for the season of autumn here in the Northeast. It is a gourd shaped like a hook. Like I said. Or a the, bent penis. Or a bendix. <laughs> like William Bendix. <laughs> yeah, bent penis. Uh, it, it is a also could be a butt plug for the uh, the blonde bombshells of Fox News, especially that new one, was that Kimberly moron. Never saw her. Yeah, she's she's been shooting her mouth off, uh, telling women to, to to yeah not oh, to that, vote. Oh, you're, the, you're talking about the black-haired one, or yeah, she has dark hair. Oh, I saw her. She's telling women not to vote, she, young women, and stay home. And she's also saying if you have to vote, go on Match.com or something. She's She's sending, sending women on a wild goose chase so they don't have to show up at the polls. Because the Republicans have... Uh, women are not voting for Because they're dishonest. Okay. Well, they, they, they're, they're... Well, they're against everything that these women need. Abortion and the, the, the Planned Parenthood. The whole shit and shebang. Come on. They're behind. They're also behind voter suppression. Uh, you know, vote with voter IDs where well, people that have mostly to. Mostly involves where, the blacks. Where, in the States, where people, where people of color, right. and um, 
and poor Americans have to uh -huh. pay, have to pay a fee to get their voter ID, uh -huh. which means they can't afford the forty some odd bucks to pay for it. Which means they don't vote. Uh -huh. Which means they don't vote Democrat, because the poor and and the homeless and the they low recognize the crumb thing, like your uncle said. Yeah, the poor, the homeless, and the uh, what's it? The downtrodden, uh -huh. huddled masses. The poor, the homeless, and low-income people, nine times out of ten, always vote Democrat. Uh, that wasn't my uncle. It was my grandfather said, oh. with, a, um, with a Democrat, because it's part of the two-party system, with a Democrat, they will give you a few crumbs. They'll throw you a few crumbs. Mm -hmm. But with a Republican, they will give you absolutely nothing. Nothing. The center of a bagel. So this is a butt plug for all of you. Or a donut. Or a donut. This is a butt plug for all you, um, you Fox News uh, uh, witches. The uh, co uh, Fox News coven of witches. You can sit on the gourd. I asked somebody on Facebook the other day who is always uh, uh, supporting uh, Republicans and everything. I said. Uh, Name me just two things that a Republican has ever done for you. Yeah. Just two. That's all. Yeah. Or one. Well, I don't even want to make it that hard. Hey, you know, give me two. Give me two. They have done nothing positive. Nothing positive for low income and poor people. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Or people of color. Middle class, too. Or, yeah, a middle class, too. Yeah. Because the middle class are becoming poor. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is really interesting what I'm going to read now. <laughs> yeah, so I'll do my Halloween laugh. <laughs> well, this is... <clears throat> Let me clear my throat because this is a humdinger. A ding hummer. That sounds good. Hummer? Hummer? Um, Chipotle Mexican Grill. It's a chain, one of those popular restaurant chains. Is being sued by um, workers in Colorado and Minnesota for violating labor laws by purposely underpaying uh, their employees hmm. and uh, Chipotle denies this of course oh, what, what they what's happening is oh boy and and this is what I was talking about before of this being tied into deregulation deregulating corporations what they what they've been doing is they have a mechanism in their uh, their time clock system that at, a, at after a certain number of hours their employees are automatically punched out so they're working off the clock for free and they don't even realize it and mm. they're also being screwed out of their overtime pay so they're working for free because they're not physically punching out and going off the clock because they're unaware of it how sneaky of them and how also, dishonest of how that. dishonest of that. and pa look Papa John's the, and and furthermore let me read you this one plus New York State Attorney General Eric uh, Schneiderman yeah. sued uh -huh. this this started uh, se September 22nd 2014 sued Papa John for significantly underpaying more than 400 delivery drivers, Papa John paid them, or stiffed them, should I say, mm. below the minimum wage um, f at $5 an hour, including no overtime pay. So they just decided upon themselves to stop paying you, even though you're working. Mm. Uh, employee paid wait employee theft lawsuits 
Yeah, employees uh, 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 theft lawsuits are also wa pay, uh, wage. Yeah, employee wage paid uh, paying theft lawsuits. Uh, you know, stealing employee money are also uh, against McDonald's and Subway, just to name a few. Employers steal an estimated fifty billion dollars per year from their workers and this is where deregulation I think is tied into. Well of course. How would they get away with it if it wasn't deregulation? It's dishonest. Employee theft, employee wage theft law. I, I, it's a typo. I was writing, uh, somebody, somebody was talking to me and I, I was writing and I must have write, wrote, wrote it wrong. I'm sorry, I apologize. It's employee page theft Paid theft. I, I don't know. I wrote page by mistake. Uh -huh. Employee wage theft lawsuits against, which doesn't shock me at all. I'm, I'm, I'm not phased by it. McDonald's and Subway, just to name a few. And who knows how many fast food restaurants and who knows how many of these restaurant chains, chains are ripping off their employees. And this also includes that in ridiculous law concerning paying waiters and waitresses like two dollars and thirteen cents an hour because they know that the waiters and waitresses receive gratuities tips yeah they want to share in them too oh they rip them off too because some restaurants pool the tips Ooh. so you if you're a great waiter you don't get to keep a hundred percent of your tips you gotta throw it into the pot and, the, and they divide it evenly and you know that the uh, employer skims some of that money off the top <laughs> of the pool tips. Guaranteed. I know. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Now, do you see how despicable this whole thing I read is? I mean, between Papa John's, which doesn't surprise me because the CEO is a scumbag. You know, he's the one that said, we are, we are not obligated to trickle down any of the monetary success of Papa John's to our employees. We are under no obligation to share anything. There's a uh, Republican idiot uh, out there now uh, saying that the disabled should not get minimum wage. Um, then why should the disabled work? Well, because they don't want them on the government dole. No, but they sure want the rich and the corporations on the on the on the taxpayers' dole. Well, yeah, that's okay. And what about what about the uh, grossly overpaid American uh, uh, congressmen and senators? They they're in a sense they're on the taxpayers' dole too, because they don't work hardly ever. They you know they 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 show up at the Capitol building several times a month. Uh -huh. And get like a hundred and seventy-five thousand uh, minimum. They don't work, and when they do work, it's garbage. Like what, fifty some times to repeal Obamacare? And there Excuse are, they're, me. They're, 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 they're hired obstructionists, is what they are. But what? But nobody's holding their feet to the fire. Correct, Reverend Bill. Correct. And guess what? 98% of those incumbents will be re-voted in. Why? Because of gerrymandering? Gerrymandering and their stupid supporters. Oh. If their supporters re-elect them this time, this November 4th, then there's no hope for the United States of America. Then the American people are not just deceived, deluded, uh, 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 misled. They're da they're downright brain cell deficient. I don't. I have no nothing positive. I will not give them the benefit of the doubt if they reelect like Mitch McConnell uh -huh. or or Paul Ryan uh -huh. or Ted Cruz. Uh -huh. Nope. I don't think Cruz is up. Right. I think no, he's brand new. So he's got uh, you know six or five and a half years, something like that. So the so the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz, he's in good. Mr. Pecker knows uh, is in good shape. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the truth. Now, 
I am going to, but you know, this is enough to rile anybody up, really, what I just read. This is stealing. This is, they talk about firing people for stealing company time, which they'll do in a heartbeat. Oh, pencil, See, this, this an is, eraser. This is the point about the, the rich in America, the capitalists. If you steal one penny of what they call company time, they'll terminate you. Mm -hmm. but, but they are allowed to steal your time. You got the word right there. Allowed. Allowed. Okay. Allowed. And this is where it's tied into deregulation by the conservatives. That's great. And by some of your Democrat friends. Yeah, the they're uh, in there too. The sellout blue dogs. That's great. That's great. Mm. Now, um, I am going to. Um, oh, by the way. Um, uh, one of our favorite individuals, the rather portly uh, Chris, Crispy Cream, Crisco Christie, had made a statement that he's uh, he's sick of hearing about the minimum wage. Well, we're sick of hearing about Chris Christie and hearing his his mouth, his gas bag pie hole. You know, uh, it, see, it's not his problem. He he's wealthy. Him and his wife make like. They, they they gross an average of like oh, something like it's over 400,000. We read it uh, last week. Le read, it, read it last week. His wife yeah, makes it's under like, a million. But his wife makes it all. His wife makes more. Yeah. But the point is he's worth uh, quite a bit. He's a, he's a multi multi millionaire. Well, it's not his problem. He don't care about the who has to work That's great. two jobs, three jobs, 50 hours uh, a week, uh, who has to uh, live on minimum wage. These people don't care, these uh, right-wing elitists. They got theirs. They got theirs. The haves have theirs, and they can care less about the have-nots. That's correct. Uh, now, I am assuming that you have a reading concerning the... Um, the uh, very, uh, let's see, how should I say this? But the drama gets worse with Ebola. Before it was the nurse that did irresponsible things. Now it's a physician, doctor. a doctor specializing in treating Ebola patients who did a extremely irresponsible, careless, thoughtless thing. Uh, action mm -hmm. by coming from, I assume, uh, Liberia, West Africa, where he was treating Ebola patients. He, um, I think he made a stop in Brussels, Belgium first. Uh, well, whatever. He, he returned home to um, New York City and uh, so did this female who returned to uh, Newark International, Newark Liberty International Airport. They were allowed to uh, get off the plane, the commercial flight that they were on, which is not was not a good idea to begin with, and they were not um, intercepted and quarantined right then and there. They were allowed to go about their business, you know, and uh, come in contact publicly with other people. In the case of the uh, the doctor who's supposed to really know better, he went to Brooklyn to go bowling at a bowling alley. Hey. He took uh, public transportation to get there. He, you know, of course, New York City is a very densely populated, very highly populated part of the world. So this is a, a doctor who treats Ebola patients, exposing his uh, Ebola. He tested positive to uh, a very highly densely populated area. Um, potential pandemic? Yes, if he starts to show symptoms. Now, he did get a fever, and after he got the fever... And vomited. And vomited, after he went to the bowling alley and tried, he decided to check himself into uh, a hospital, which was at Bellevue. I don't know. I don't know. But is there is there an article about this man? 
So no, and, and if there were, you know what, I wouldn't read it. Why not? Because most of it is fake. You don't believe that this doctor did this irresponsibly? That doctor may have. But again, the trans the transmission mode is not airborne. Can't take those chances. Okay? Well, yeah, Can't yeah. Can't take those chances. You wouldn't it, want to do talk, that. We're talking about a very, very frightening disease, a very, virus. A very disease which you haven't heard of except recently. New York is Ask very yourself the question. highly populated and that has nothing to do with it. I just said you know what you have. If we heard, have a pandemic, I'm gonna I'm gonna nag you and say I told you so to you. Good, but don't worry about having a pandemic. Yeah, sure. It ain't gonna happen. Yeah, sure. He did an extremely irresponsible thing as being a healthcare worker, a physician who's supposed to know first more than, of all, he's supposed to know more than a nurse, first and she's of all, a healthcare worker too. Intravenous vitamin C is a very good treatment for Ebola. I'm not saying there's is no... Is anybody using it? No, I'm not saying there's no natural treatments for Ebola. Yes, there is. Immune system stimulation, intravenous uh, mega vitamin C therapy, yes. But they're not using it because uh, I hear Johnson & Johnson as well as Monsanto and possibly other uh, pharmaceutical companies are working on their Ebola vaccines. Of course, this is the old uh, uh, swine flu, a uh, bird flu, this, SARS. It's the same bullshit. Possibly this is why these individuals that was working in West Africa were allowed to return back to the United States. So there is a possible pandemic so Big Pharma can rake no. in another fortune. No, no, no. There is a possible fraud going See, on. Yeah, I agree. That's what it See, is. Dr. Bill and I, we differ on, on this one thing. Well, we, dis, we differ on uh, um, the death penalty, too, and, and affirmative action. But in this case, I believe in conspiracy theories because many of them are turning into conspiracy facts. He doesn't. Not only turning into it, you got it on video. Right. Okay, you got it on video. Now People what's the People lying deal? around pretending they're dying in West Africa of Ebola, and they're as healthy as you and me, and then their father walks away with a wad of money in his hand. You think, so in other words, this is um, It's like, to get the money in the military over there. This is like P.T. Barnum and, and uh, it's like it's all like a staged circus. A lot of what I just told you before that the CIA, you know, pays off journalists and et cetera, et cetera. Well, well, so most of your news is staged. Well, what is there? Uh, 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 if it's not big pharma raking in more more of a fortune, more profits, what is the purpose of this charade? Fear. All right. What are what the is same the thing ultimate? That saying, I'm afraid of a pandemic. What is their ultimate goal? What? For to, instituting I just told the you, to make money to get the military over there in Africa in that spots to get their natural resources, the diamonds and the oils and uh, oil, etc. So it's an excuse to move troops into the area. Not only troops. Don't don't get into the one. Well, who else is going to move into the area? Who else? I just said troops, money, they want their resources. Well, that's what I said, troops, and you're saying no. That's only one part of it. No, I, I believe that, that, that there's a risk of pandemic and that the drug companies stand to make a fortune with their vaccines. What happened with SARS and the that's swine flu and, 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 and the bird flu? We don't hear said, about them anymore. Exactly. But when they were in, oh, in the news cycle, God forbid, well, we're all going to die. Was, we're going to die. Was this physician, did this physician t test positive for Ebola, yes or no? Yes. Actually, we don't know that. You going to trust the sources who said he was? Everybody, I didn't see the blood test. Everybody saying he tested positive. I didn't see the blood test. Well, nobody's, nobody cares about you seeing the blood test. Why not? They saw the blood test. Who did? The paid journalist by the CIA? No, the doctors uh, in that hospital. Where he Has one doctor been interviewed on that subject? No. 
Nobody should be allowed off the plane or on a commercial flight that work that was in that area was not just work even if you was in that were in that area for humanitarian purposes you should be apprehended immediately and quarantined they take you aside like, and they interview you. like uh, Andrew and if you lie they let you go this is why Andrew Cuomo and Chris Christie said we have to we have to uh, enforce state health laws above the CDC, um, uh, CDC and the federal CDC and exactly. the federal because the CDC and the federal government are not doing their well, part. Yes. They're not doing their part. I just said. And if I, uh, what if the guy, what if a guy uh, from Liberia goes to Europe and then comes in on a plane from Europe? Which he, he shouldn't be allowed to. Well, who's going to stop him? Uh, the Europeans? The the health, the, uh, the government health uh, 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 officials, wherever he's trying to get off the plane. He's just a passenger on a plane. Nobody knows anything. Doesn't it, doesn't, doesn't a red flag come up when, when you see where he's flying from? Maybe. Maybe see, the Europeans will institute something of that nature, I, but they have not. I, I've seen, a, I see a huge red flag if they've been in Liberia or any of the, any no of that kidding, areas. but that was only a recent thing that has been instituted. But I'm saying, even if they are from Liberia, suppose they fly to Sweden, and then they come into the United States from Sweden. How the hell do you know they were in Liberia? It's not fail-safe. None of it is fail-safe. Well, then, mm -hmm. then the possible, then if that's the case, I still say the possibility of a pandemic is real. Well, then 50% of those who get it will die and the other 50 will live and be immune to it. Okay? Fine? Thank you. But you all know, the rest of the stuff involved with it... You no, know, your source fraud. is your source. This is headline news. You're, you're supposed to have that headline news in front of you. Technically. Everybody has that so-called headline news. It is boring. Well, if we don't discuss Ebola, that does that makes us not too up on the current events, does it? Oh, it also makes us not uh, subject to the fraud and the garbage that's going on in the headline news, doesn't it? Yeah, you, 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 you don't, you don't believe a lot of conspiracy. I do. So anyway, it's not compared. This is headline news. It's not conspiracy. No, it's the conspiracy is is the fraud angle. That I believe. Oh, I believe in the How fraud. How can you believe it if you guy if you're you know with the pandemic thing? But you can't uh, have it. what about the the articles concerning uh, big pharma and America gearing up for an Ebola vaccine? Gearing up. It hasn't occurred yet. That's true. Jeez. Ebola is extremely deadly and quick. So I say Ebola should be taken very seriously. It should be taken very seriously. This is only recent in America that has been taking it seriously. Okay. It All is right. an African problem. It only came here, you know, accidentally. And it's still under control. It came here. How many people have been infected in America? It came. Don't count Mr. Dogger because he was infected in uh, Africa. It came here because of irresponsibility. The two nurses in, and a doctor. In uh, the in in the healthcare, uh, the government. Uh, but in, only in, two nurses and a doctor have been infected in America. For now. For now. For now. So, where's this pandemic? That's what's going to happen. More people are going to test positive, and he's going to say, oh, oh, I never said nothing about this. Watch. Who did? Wednesday. You're going to say, if more people test positive for Ebola in the United States, you're going to, like, say, you know, I know nothing. I hear nothing. No, I won't, because I don't care about Ebola. You better care. I don't. If it's close to home, you better care. I don't. There are more important things... When you're spitting up blood, when you got blood coming out oh, of your yeah. orifices, you'll care. You'll care. And what about if you don't? You still better care. Why? Because it's because it's close yeah. to home. Three people. Where, this is three people. In, in, and guess where they got it? It's more than three people. 
a woman who landed at Newark Liberty Airport was tested taken positive aside. for, huh? Taken aside. I don't know if she was tested positive for anything. Well, she was in West Africa. Why are these people from that are American that were in West Africa they being allowed in Europe and the United States? Why are they being allowed? They were helping. The first two, they were missionaries over there helping the people helping? with Ebola. Were they helping in a suit? Yes. And they got it anyway, for some reason. Then, then what good are the suits in the United States? We don't know. It's supposedly not airborne, right? That's correct. That's correct. All right, let us sink our teeth into these readings. Because I am growing weary of debating over this. See that? And so are people growing weary of hearing about Ebola. It's frightening enough to hear about it every week or every day, believe me. That's correct. It's, no, it's important to know about what's going on with, with infectious diseases. What happened? What happened? Anything on Balloon Boy this ever. week? Maybe. All right. In response to two letters regarding Representative this is a local issue here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Two letters regarding Representative Scott Garrett, Republican, Scumbag. And, yeah. and his re-election bid. One is reminded of the old adage that with rank comes responsibility. <laughs> As our congressman assisting the American Legion in securing an army color guard for a parade and veterans having issues with the Department of Veterans Affairs is admiral, but clearly is part of what our representatives should be doing on a daily basis. Unfortunately, the writer neglects to say that Garrett has voted to cut veterans benefits and services on a consistent basis. It's okay if uh, those poor souls got their legs blown off and their head half blown off and their arms blown off or come home in a body bag. It's okay for veterans to do that for these politicians. The League of Women Voters of Bergen County has always been a strong proponent of sponsoring non-partisan forums. Yeah, non-partisan. That's why the Republicans kicked them out of the debates. Non- Partisan. This is what I try to explain to these ultra-liberal Pollyannas. The Republicans will never compromise with you and negotiate with you. It's not going to happen. The League, unfortunately, left, left out the fact that Garrett has participated in the past two re-election campaign events and that nine other major civic organizations were endorsing this event, including the Bergen County chapter of the NAACP. Additionally, Garrett's challenger, Roy Cho, requested six debates across the district with no response from Garrett. And Garrett's been really nitpicking with Roy Cho. With, yes, with he the political uh, commercials. Nitpicking. As of this writing, Garrett has agreed to two to a excuse me a joint radio appearance on a Hackettstown station whose signal does not even reach Bergen County. <laughs> as long as we allow Scott Garrett to run a dismissive and underground campaign, he will continue to ignore issues crucial to the residents of northern New Jersey. Abraham Lincoln once said, Elections belong to the people. It's their decision. 
if they decide to turn their back on the fire and burn their behinds, then they will just have to sit on their blisters. After learning that Democratic congressional candidate Roy Cho has failed to vote more than 60% of the time. I think he should take a seat and sit on his blisters. It's obvious that he doesn't understand what it takes to be a member of Congress as a voter. I need to be able to count on my representative to be my voice in Washington. How can we expect Cho to vote for my interests? Actually, this is me talking now. Cho or Garrett is never going to support your interests. Okay? <clears throat> Get it through your head. They support the corporate interests. Period. Oh, yeah. A two-party system will always be corporatist, pro-corporate. That's what I'm going to tell any uh, Republican or Democrat that rings my doorbell and... Uh, and tries to soft soap me and, and butter me up and I'm going to tell them flat out that the two-party system is, is corrupt, it's been proven in a, in a, but you know like Jesse Ventura says people are really sick and tired of voting for the lesser of the two evils even though that's our only choice right now correct but um, if um, if Bernie Sanders decides to run in uh, 2016 I have a feeling you will see an independent candidate on the televised debates, which is a very important thing. He ain't going to be able to uh, stand against Hillary. Yeah, but Hillary has so many skeletons. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but that's not how it's skeletons done. Skeletons in her closet. That's not how it's done. Then how is it Hillary done? Hillary is a product, just like anything else, and you sell it. You PR it and you sell it. How how could Hillary defend herself in a debate against somebody? That won't come up in the debate until. Uh, you can't. Hey, let's put it this way: If Bernie Sanders is allowed to debate, nobody's going to stop him from saying what he wants to say in the debate. You want to bet? And that includes how are you going to be stopped? You bet? So the what, debates are the, the debates are. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're directed. They're directed. They, they, they meet beforehand and they discuss what we can discuss and what we won't discuss. Then why... It's all fake and fraud! Then why would an independent who's supposed to be a true progressive want to be on a televised debate? They wouldn't. Not with those people. I would um, not listen to the program director if I was Bernie Sanders. It's not a program director. It's a meeting of themselves. They do it themselves. Like 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 a group of people that are in cahoots together? None of them want to be embarrassed on TV. None. So therefore they will yeah. not do things of that nature. But, but um, Mitt Romney was Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan was torn apart pretty efficiently by uh, Joe Biden and Barack Obama when they debated. Really? Oh, I thought I thought they were ham. They were getting hammered pretty good, except for one thing. Right. The whole the whole part about um, Democrats. Oh, the whole part about um, corporatist corporatism. Um, being, being pro-corporate and anti-people was only brushed upon um, slightly. Well, of course. Slightly. It was mentioned, but not, not to the extent it should have yes, been. It wasn't mentioned. debated to the extent of coming to a conclusion, maybe, or a resolution, or whatever. Yeah, you see, people want change. People don't want compromise. Well, they thought they got change in 2008. Mm -hmm. They didn't get it. Yeah, well, this when the single-payer uh, universal health care plan was taken off the table. And what about the tax cuts with Bush and, and everything was kept in place? And then the, ND, the NDAA. 
the National Defense Authorization Act. And they never, ever mentioned about returning the tax burden back to the rich like it was before Reagan. Stop talking about it as a burden. It is not a burden. It is the price we pay for civilization. You make more money, you should pay more money that, in taxes. So not okay. should. That's the law. The law. Thank you. What is 1913 and 1916? That's the law. That was the birth of the progressive tax system? That That's the, 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 the tax system was progressive, period. Well, it sounded pretty fair to me. There were, there were millions of people, when the tax, first taxes were taken, never paid any taxes because they didn't make $2,000, which was the, uh, you know, the, the, when you started paying. Two thousand, three thousand dollars, okay. whatever. Gotcha. You know, it's not a burden. Why is it a burden? Well, it's if not. If I got a billion dollars, it's not really a burden to the rich. If I got a billion dollars, like Mr. Cokies, and then the, uh, whatever. That's pocket. And change. I have to pay thirty-five percent of that as taxes. You still. What do I got left? Plenty. Plenty. And, and I'm sure a billion is pocket change to throw around for the Koch brothers. And the Walmarts, etc. The Walton family of yes. Walmart. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It's all a bunch of baloney. Okay? And that's why we got the problems in our cities and our towns. Because we are not taxing those with the money anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, I got another pet peeve sitting here, which I may uh, drop off a letter to the goddamn, you know, newspaper soon. But in New Jersey, I don't know how it is in other states, in New Jersey, there is a program where low-income people yeah. from the state of New Jersey the state of New Jersey will, if you are eligible, pay your, I think it's whatever you're paying now for Medicare, uh, there is a, 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 a cost for a Medicare Part B. Uh, I think it's $113 or whatever it is. And you pay that out of your Medicare, out of your uh, Social Security. They take that from your Social Security to pay for that, Medicare. All right? In New Jersey, to sign up for such a program and become eligible, they require that you find out from your whole life insurance companies how much you can surrender your policy for cash. And they count that as income. It's not. It's not. No. Li it's not liquid. It's not income in the first place. It's not income. If 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 uh, 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 capital gains, eighteen percent. Capital gains is not counted as income. Then neither is that. So what you're saying is they feel the po folk, the po folk do not are not entitled to a life insurance policy. That's correct. If they if they turn it in, first of all, if they turn it in and get the cash, how are they going to get buried? I was going to say that. How does your how does your relatives bury you? Yeah. They 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 put you in shrink wrap like like a boiled ham in a supermarket, or throw you down a river, or like the Ganges River yeah. in uh, India. They just they throw Walk you in the river, around. just bob around, float around. Yeah. But this is the problem. It's the same thing with the Social Security law dealing with the disability and if you work. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's a bookkeeping thing. They they call something something, and then it's accepted. It's accepted in law. Well, I'm sorry. It's not income. And as far as I'm concerned, and this is my opinion, okay? Lottery winnings are also not income. They are one-time affairs, a gift from God. Thank you very much. Yeah, because you're, what you're doing is you're taking an individual who is um, very well, may be of a low income or, or poor, and because of an astronomical uh, streak of luck, 
you know, and the odds are Lady Luck is smiling on that person, they suddenly go from being poor or low income or middle class to being wealthy uh, overnight. Yeah, it's like they, they uh, take they take taxes out, calling them income tax. Yeah, but that's but, not income. But elitists like General Electric that doesn't pay any federal income taxes, oh, that's fine. It's so hypocritical, the, the, the right wing. It's so crooked. Capital Call it what it is. Ca Call the campaign contributions bribery yeah. what it is. Capitalism, crony capitalism is corrupt. That's it. Period. All right, let me say Mr. Right. Christie till later, okay? Okay. When, when we get back from break. Then I have an excuse to use that banner of uh, that Sergeant Schultz. Uh, <laughs> um, I know nothing. I know nothing. I see nothing. I hear nothing. That was funny. <laughs> that banner, man. I want to use that. I want to use that because that's that's Chris Christie, man. He's 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 like acts like a pure totalitarian fascist. You scratch a conservative, and that's what you get. Why do you think they? Why do you think they hate socialism so much? Because socialism takes all that, all that, that money that they 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 hoard, out of their pocket and evenly redistributes it. Well, number one, it doesn't do any of that. What does it do? Socialism means that you, the people, own GE. That's socialism. Okay. Right. Or like uh, communism, uh, the people own the company and okay. run the company. So, the, the so what's so bad about that? Sounds pretty fair to me. Ooh, it sounds very good, but private people don't like that because, because private, then they can't make their big bucks. Because private people don't care about anyone how to hoard all the money for themselves. The resources. The resources. Money is worthless. It's a piece of crap. They want to claim and own and control the Earth's natural wealth and resources, which That's actually true. belong to God by rights. Well, if he ain't here to, c c to claim them, I'll claim it in his stead. But the point is, they don't own any of those resources. No. And then you ask yourself, how was it possible that the private sector obtained all these resources so that they could build these businesses? As I say, back in the 90s, when the ISPs started up and uh, the F FCC changed its rules and regulations, etc. No one ever asked me if I wanted to be an ISP. Because I didn't have the money to put in to build this business. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. That's why. Okay. But capitalists get unfair advantages. It's as simple as that. Because it's a system which only works for the few. Because it's rigged that way, because our elected it, it works that way. Leaders are it's paid off mean. they're paid off to make it that way. Well they make it better. But the system itself works that way because you can't be a capitalist. You have the money. Capitalist has money. Therefore he puts it to work. He has an unfair advantage. And his money makes money for him. That's correct. Not, don't listen to these teabaggers who always say that they're self-made and they work hard for what they have and why should they, why should they help it. any poor person yeah. and uh, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, bullshit. They don't. Their money makes money for them. That's it. They have the money already. Work hard, generous, philanthropical charities. My ass. They don't know what they're talking about. Charity is just another business. Well, if you don't want to get the businesses. You want to get the people. A fundraiser should be made up of voluntary uh, workers, volunteer work. You should never have a president or a CEO making several hundred thousand a year or a few million a year. 
That's that's a obscene for yeah, a, for charity. You can't foretell where that money is going to go. Well, look at these. For instance, look all at the money that is given to the cancer establishments. You realize that doctors get paid by the companies for doing chemotherapy. Interesting. Oh, very interesting. You know the Susan Susan Komen, the very popular Susan yes, Komen it's, it's, uh, pink ribbon for cancer is 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 being ripped off all the time. Only only a tiny percentage goes to oh the cancer garbage. patient. That's what I just said. And for research, do not give to those things. Give to the people. And the uh, the president of Susan Komen is raking in a fortune to so supposedly run Susan Komen. Well, that's what a lot of nonprofits are all about, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a break. It's time for uh, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's lunch. And I will, uh, we will uh, go shortly to our voiceover artist, William H. Morrow III, uh, for promo. All right. Words of wisdom from uh, Billy Morrow. And then we'll, we'll continue with the second half of this show. Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the Newsletter Censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times. So you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen. For the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye. Okay, we're back. We're back. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III, for doing promo. And um, we will now sink our teeth back into uh, these readings for the second half of the show. Uncensored, hard-hitting truth. All right, I got another Garrett one, but I want to move on to a, a Governor Christie situation here. Yeah? Make no mistake, Governor Christie's mealy-mouthed statement at a U.S. Chamber of Commerce event that only legally qualified citizens should be permitted to, to vote. And that it is very important that Republican governors be elected in order to oversee the voting mechanism. What is their um, definition of a legally quali qualified citizen? A, a permanent residency or citizenship? No. Citizenship, period. Oh, so uh, a permanent residency uh, is not, does not... No brown people, please! You know, they never go after, uh, go after Caucasian immigrants, the Republican Party. Hmm is a very thinly disguised endorsement of the nationwide effort by Republican lawmakers to disenfranchise those citizens they believe to be Democratic voters. That's why they don't like them. Who are, in the main, minority citizens. They only have a problem with uh, 
immigrants of color, the Republicans. They, the several of them have admitted to what they're doing. Oh yeah, no, they're not shy about no, uh, not letting you know their agenda. That's correct. The, and Chris Christie is the least shy of all the Republicans. The gas bag. Is it methane or natural well, gas or natural methane? Is is a is a is the what is it the ultimate fermentation of fecal matter? And he's definitely full of fecal matter. <coughs> Chris Christie. There you go. All right, now back to Scott Garrett for another round. Another local Republican. While there are good conservative reasons to support the re-election of Rep Representative Scott Garrett, I, for one, cannot stomach his conduct over one issue that the press has ignored, his support of Wall Street. Yeah, really? Wall Street helps oversell mortgages that people could not afford. Hyped financial junk instruments and kept the best financial opportunities for its own insiders. That did more than result in jail time for some financiers and penalties for the big banks. The good news for this person, there were no jail times except for a low-level jumbaloni. Yeah. Well, this was deliberate, right? By, uh, of course! It was, it, it was business. It was a way of making money. Underhanded way, but a way just the same. Anything on Wall Street is an underhanded way of making money. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. What's that banner I read? Give a man a gun and he could rob a bank. Give a man a bank uh -huh. and he could rob, rob everybody, the people. rob yeah. the world. Yeah, right. It was largely responsible for the Great Recession. Left homeowners stuck with homes they cannot afford and has kept the economy stagnant with slow growth. I still remember Garrett on the talk show circuit working against the Dodd-Frank legislation of 2010. This law was intended to prevent a future financial meltdown rather than work to rein in Wall Street's excesses. He helped to water down that legislation and turn it into a bureaucratic mess. Hmm. Now Garrett and other Republicans want to undermine even that law's limited reforms. With gratitude, Wall Street has repeatedly stuffed his re-election campaigns like a giant pinata. Pinata, yeah, yes. Not surprisingly, his voting record shows that he remains one of Wall Street's biggest fans. If there's one thing that this country needs, it's a better economy. So while I actually respect much of Garrett's fiscal conservatism, and don't care for the Democratic candidate, respect Garrett's free pass for Wall Street has got to end. Like I said many times, the agenda and the objective of Right-wing Republicans are always obvious. Their corruption is no secret. You know, uh, Wall Street is destroying America. And then and trying to corrupt the world. But it's up to we the people to realize our power and uh, <coughs> fire the crooks this November 4th. Now if they did that, poor Bernie Sanders hmm? probably would be the lone senator left. 
Oh yeah. Well, every else, everybody else gone. <laughs> Bernie Sanders will I'm not sure if, uh, will be a lone goldfish <laughs> in a an aquarium. Oh, oh wait, excuse me, Elizabeth. Uh, what piranha? Huh? Elizabeth Warren is there too. She'll be left too. It'd be Sanders and Warren. Yeah, it'd be like the rapture. But they all would be the ones left behind. Sanders and Warren will be left. Well, I can picture a uh, Sanders and Ventura ticket with Elizabeth Warren as the Secretary of State. I can picture that. I can dig that. About 269,000 people in Bergen and Passaic counties in New Jersey. Yeah. And more than 64 million nationwide will receive a 1.7% increase next year in their Social Security Supplemental Security Income Benefits. Oh, geez. How many years overdue is that? Uh, huh. when o Obama went in office, there were two years without any. True. But all of these years, the price is below what it should be because of the way they have rigged the CPI. Yeah, well, the increase is probably not going to be enough. fair enough and accurate to where it should be compared to the cost of living. That's Just like correct. like 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 the cockamamie raise in, in, in the in the minimum wage, what they want to raise it to. It's, it's, they, it's nothing. It's crap. Ten the ten dollars and ten cents an hour is crap. And they want to use a new method, the chained CPI, which is even lower. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. People are gonna remain behind the eight ball. I mean, they're going to remain uh, 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 struggling and desperate and uh, and uh, 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 and that's what they want. Dependent on the uh, corporatist elitists for their survival. The only freedom we have is the freedom to shop. And then when the mon the mon the, uh, the uh, monopolies come in, they want to be the only person to have what you need when you want to go shopping. And who do we have to blame? The people. The people tolerate it. Deregulation. The regulation just gives the green light to all the demons to run amok and have a free for all open season hunting on the mainstream. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Next year's cost of living adjustment will be the third in a row below 2%. The increase is based on the inflation rate. Which of course is a lie. It's understated. Okay which has flattened the past few years. Oh, really? Uh, have we went to, ch to, to, to the, to the uh, supermarket lately? Did we see the markups? No, oh, yeah. Meat. Retail marks the regular price up, so you, ne you think you get a savings, but you don't. Well, I'm talking about the markup they claim for inflation. Oh, right, it's way, way let's, below. Let's just say they marked up beef or meat uh, 5%. I think it was larger than that, but say 5%. But we're only getting 1.7. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Somebody's getting screwed. Social Security payments are expected to total $863 billion this year. Now, let's go back in the first paragraph here. 64 million people are on Social Security. Now, what did your aunt say? Oh, my uh, conservative aunt Helen yeah. and Uncle Phil says that uh, Social Social Security was meant to only be a supplement to your income, just like um, 
uh, the um, the state ref, uh, the, the people that work for the state of New Jersey Board of Social Services or whatever the hell they call themselves said also that supplemental security income is only supposed to be a supplement but then again if you get a part-time job they kick you off of it Exactly. So what's the point? And, how is it a supplement? And how can Social Security be a supplement if a you supplement. have to retire to get it? You have to retire to get it, so how is it a supplement? <laughs> They're talking about uh, wealthy retired people. Yeah, of course. Double dippers, triple dippers. Like, like Barbara Bush or whatever, you know, wealthy retired folk. But the point is... That have theirs. That yeah. 64 million people in the United States are living on Social Security as their sole, most of them, their sole income. Because they have to. All right. Now, the Republicans are always bitching about this. Oh, yeah. The Republicans... Now, what are you going to do with those people if Social Security is not around? Now, for instance, if we would have privatized the Social Security back when Mr. George W. Bush was running around trying to privatize uh, Social Security, We'd have all lost it in the meltdown. It would have went bye-bye. And you wouldn't have had nothing. You'd have been out on the street. And then, they, and then the, the, the cities won't let you be fed if you're homeless. Oh, we that's right. Homelessness is illegal in many Republican-run red states. That yes. is true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're arrested. You you it's called loitering. You're you take you know, you can't just hang or hang out and sleep outside or whatever and you cannot be homeless. And then those same people will go to church on Sunday and claim that they are Christians. Oh, that's another hypocritical nonsense. Yeah, they claim they are they are Christians and us secular humanists uh liberals are um are evil sinners yeah that's yeah. it yeah. we're all sinners everyone is that's correct but their sins are less than ours or something of that nature you know because ted cruz's daddy he wants you to vote for republicans he calls because it because god wants that yeah god is not political yeah. he calls the right wing righteous politicians yeah. Righteous, well, his self righteous attitude is the uh, same as Job in the Bible. Job was self righteous. Yeah. He didn't believe it. He didn't know he was because he was doing everything right, so to speak. But he was doing it out of pride. He was self righteous, just like they are. The average monthly benefit for retirees is $1,294. For disabled recipients of supplemental security income, $1,146. Retirees and their dependents account for three in four recipients. The rest are people with disabilities, and survivors of deceased workers. Nine in ten individuals age 65 and older receive Social Security benefits, which represent about 38 percent of the income of the elderly. About 172,000 people receive Social Security and SSI in Bergen County and about 97,000 people received the benefits in Passaic. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, the amount of Americans' wages subject to Social Security taxes is also going up. Mm-hmm. Social Security is financed by a 12.4% payroll tax on the first $117,000 okay. of the workers' wages. Remember, after after the uh, after the uh, wealthy person makes over one hundred seventeen thousand, he doesn't pay any more social security tax. None, nada, niente. 
Right. Zero. See? Mm. With half paid by the worker and half by the employer. And employers hate this. Mm -hmm. That's what's behind the, the push to privatize Social Security. Because the employers do not want to pay their half. Next year, the wage cap will increase to 118,500. That's bullshit. Should be a lot, you know. Should be continue uh, paying. Mm -hmm. As for payments to beneficiaries, mm -hmm. Congress enacted automatic increases in 1975 when inflation was high. And there was a lot of pressure to regularly raise benefits. For the first 35 years, the COLA, cost of living adjustment, was below 2%, only three times. Yeah, they just want to keep the mainstream masses down and desperate. Ooh. Ooh. They don't want you to be happy and achieve the American dream or, or to be content and safe, healthy and happy. They just well, don't they certainly want. don't want you to be rich because, you know, rich people don't buy that much. Simple as that. How many refrigerators yeah. can the, you know, the rich buy? Right. And um, small businesses are part of the middle class. They provide 70% of the jobs. Which is Main Street. Main Street, the middle class, entrepreneurs, small businesses, mm -hmm. they're all in the but same. But all the subsidies and tax breaks and all the other good stuff goes to? Corporate. The big ones. The big wigs, the yeah. fat cats. You know, Ain't that something? I mean, all tax breaks should really go to small businesses only and not the big fat cats. The big fat cats should just pay up. <laughs> pay up and shut up. We'll, we'll go to China. We'll take our factory to China. Well, they have. They've been doing it. They've been doing it. <laughs> so who cares? And office jobs were outsourced to the Philippines, mm -hmm. paying them chicken feed wages. That's what they want. They've wanted. done it already. Yeah. They've been doing it. They can threaten all they want because they've been doing it. They're there. Like I always say, don't let the door hit them in the ass on the way out because we will then co-op the factory and run it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Well, I know um, um, what the hell is his name? Uh, anyway, uh, continue. Child poverty. All time high. In America. Also. Is at its highest point in 20 years. Higher than any uh what is it, any first world country on earth? Putting millions of children at increased risk of injuries, infant mortality, and premature death. As the U.S. emerges from the worst recession since the Great Depression, 25% of children don't have enough food to eat. Sad. And 7 million kids still don't have health insurance. Even worse, five children die daily by firearms. And one dies every seven hours from abuse or neglect. Oh, uh, yeah, you, what you mentioned before probably refers to the uh, Republican run red states that refuse Obamacare. Right now, yes. That do not have Obamacare. You see, uh, Chris Christie, he played ball with Obamacare and we have Obamacare in New Jersey therefore the poor that had Medicaid cards also have health insurance. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be this hard for kids to grow and thrive in the world's richest most powerful nation. It shouldn't. The report co-written with Dr. Glenn Flores, professor of pediatrics at University of Texas Southwestern notes that although 24% of Americans are children, only 12% of the National Institutes of Health's 
2013 budget was devoted to pediatric research. Leslie and Flores called on the federal government to take 10 specific steps to turn, turn things around for kids. Including set a national target date for the elimination of child poverty. Cut maltreatment deaths in half by 2018. Step up funding for pediatric research. Invest in children's nutrition programs. Extend Medicaid insurance programs for children. Enforce a mandatory criminal background check for every firearm sale. Oh, I can see the Republicans cringing now and crying. God forbid we should have background checks for firearm sale. Increase the number of mental health care providers by enhancing Medicaid reimbursement rates. We had another school shooting the other day. Really? I think that's more important than Ebola. Are these um, kids that are on psychiatric drugs? They probably are, but they don't ever say it in the mainstream, do they? But he was supposedly a nicer kid. Uh, and he went in there with the gun into the cafeteria and blew some people in their heads one dead, uh, and then he blew himself. One thing I'm glad is that they blow themselves away at the end, usually. Well, yes. But in this way, we never find out the real why. We don't do we? find out the real why, but tragically, you cannot bring back the, the, the lives of the innocent. That's correct. And, uh, but but in, at a, thinking about it positively, you, uh, you save the taxpayers a lot of money Yeah. on... Uh, Look at this Jody uh, 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 Arias uh, trial going on again yet. Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty. She stabbed that guy, shot that guy. Uh, 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 I think she de-skinned him and, and a whole bunch of other crap, man. How, the frick the, how, do, how does a girl that looks so uh, cute uh, uh, do such evil things to her uh, boyfriend? I mean... Exactly. I mean, she didn't just kill him. She just, like... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, she shot him in the head. He was dead already. And then she does all this other damage. With the stabbing and the, you know, the skinning or whatever the hell she did. What was her reaction with it in the uh, last interview of her? Because it was televised. I don't remember. She, she, she didn't show any remorse, did she? Well, she did in court when they said, uh, you know, uh, you when they convicted her. Yeah. Yeah, she... She got life in prison, or is she up for a death penalty? Yeah, that's what's going on now. They want to find out if, if, if they want to give her the death penalty. They should. Uh, I mean, I mean, it was premeditated, premeditated murder, you know. But you got to prove it. You know, it has to be proven w without a shadow of a doubt. You know. Uh, well, it was proven that she was guilty in the first trial. I think this is just sentencing. I don't know. I don't keep up with that crap, but you know, it's just, uh, you know, it? it's one of, one of those deals where if I can't have you, no one else will? No, he was supposedly an abuser and it, all that stuff. Supposedly. Supposedly. We don't know any of that. Look at Pistorius, he only getting five years. Really? Blade Runner. Oh, Blade Runner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember now. Five years for shooting her. Yeah, how did, how did he... How, does that, how the hell did that happen? Five years. I don't know. They determined it some way it wasn't premeditated. Yeah. <sighs> well, she wasn't carrying a weapon. Therefore, she, she did not threaten his life. I'm sure when she was in the bathroom... And he supposedly asked or yelled or whatever who's in there or something before he shot. I'm sure she said something. It's me. I'm taking a pee. Right. 
and then he blows five shots into the door without without seeing who was it, who was who else was in there I was afraid for my I fearful of my life but the door shut and you know like and she's not in bed come on come on well you know? if she's not if you're living with her and she's not in bed and she's in the bathroom with the door shut yeah. the first thing that comes to my mind is she's number taking a pee. number one or number two <laughs> or or if she's in the shower you can hear the shower running yeah it's one of the yep sounds like sounds premeditated to me sounds like it to me too but anyway ah, we weren't on the judge we weren't a judge we weren't okay. the juries, the jurors. I don't, I'm not sure if it was a jury. I, I think it was a judge. A woman. A woman judge. I don't know how they conduct their oh, really? crap a, a over A woman there, huh? gave Blade Runner only five years. A woman. You would think the woman would throw the book at him and... Yes, you would think. But there are many Republican women who do not stand together. No, with they, the, uh, there are other women who are they feel being abused or whatever. There are Republican women who are religious nuts or uh, you know either zealots or, or part of the cult that do not believe women should have equal rights at all or an equal pay and you you figure it out. I wonder how they uh, think about marrying some guy and letting him support her for the rest of her life. Oh, you mean uh, if well, if a man did it, they would call him a, a gigolo, a lazy, a lazy loser, a uh, a bum, or this and that and the other thing. But but a woman, ha women have done it for decades. Uh, they've decided to be a stay-at-home uh, uh, um, homemaker, homemaker. There, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for, homemaker. You know, they don't. They don't say gold digger, money grubber, uh. or uh, yeah, they're taking the uh, they're taking the easy way out, no? Yeah, sitting yeah. on their ass, uh, yeah. doing nothing while the man is the breadwinner. And, yeah. Where are know, they pulling themselves up by the bootstraps? No, they're not. They're not. Or at the all. high heel straps, the stiletto. Well, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of double standards. Out there no still. No kidding, but they're never presented. With women and, and racial issues, there's a lot of double standards ah. out there. Uh, I know someone who uh, is the sole breadwinner uh, that uh, also has to has to do the uh, grocery shopping, and he's the sole breadwinner, and uh, his wife is the boss. Hey, hey. I know somebody that's like that. Talk right. about a, a big ring in the old Schnauzola. Ah! What was the name of that, uh, the bull in the, uh, my, my in brother's. fairy tales? Huh? Huh? The bull in the fairy tales. The only bull I know in a fairy tale is uh, Paul Bunyan's bull, no, Babe, no, Babe. No, not that one, no. No, no, no. A bull? A bull, yeah. He got a ring in his nose. Yeah, well, these are. I mean, if you're you're the sole breadwinner and you're paying all the bills and you have to go to work every day, you 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 shouldn't have any other bosses in the house. Yeah. A little change of pace here. Okay. Tomato paste. No, we're gonna don our psychological hats now. Oh, here we come. Oh, here we go. Dear uh, a dear Amy. Amy Dickinson. Oh, Amy Dickinson. I'm a single mother of three who has been dating a single father of three. Brady Bunch. On and off for just over a year. We both have good careers. I'm quite independent and level-headed with a positive outlook on life. I mean, she has a flat head like, like Herman Munster. Is she Marine? Is she level-headed? This relationship is an emotional roller coaster. Doesn't surprise me. Two Did independent. Did you see the roller career. coaster last night? The uh, euthanasia coaster. The guy invented. Yeah, you want to die? You you go on a coaster, and it hits you with so many G's at some point that you croak. Oh, this is like a a fun way to execute people. Yeah. Well, if you want to die, like for instance, you got a, a, a terminal disease or something, and you want to. 
take the coaster and croak yourself instead of like being arrested for putting a, you know a needle or whatever is this is this like with that doctor what was his name Kevorkian doctor Kevorkian up there in Michigan or but whatever. is this supposed to be more humane well don't these people have fun when they're on the coaster not me before they croak not me I throw my guts up me too. I don't have any fun on those rides. <laughs> but I know personally some people will love I've gotten nauseous. I've gotten nauseous and vomited on, on lesser rides than a roller yeah, coaster. Yeah, the teacup ride in that Disneyland. No, not the teacup. Was a, <laughs> actually, I, I, I like the ones for kids. No, 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 I'm fine on that. No, there's one that it was a, it was like um, a, 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 a pirate ship, a boat, or a, or a fair, oh, yeah, they fair go back and forth, and it swings like a pendulum back yeah. and forth. And the more it swings, the higher up it goes. And I threw up from that. Oh my god! I vomited from that. Oh my god! They call that an ipecac ride. I used to like the kids' uh, uh, helicopter where you go up. And well, they have one that drops you, like a. Oh no, 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 no that's not for me, a, baby. You're in a cage and it, like a bungee cord. It drops you. No, no, no. no I don't do that. No, I don't no, do that. No. But anyway continue yeah, no, no, no. all right roller coaster relationship two single parents that are career people yeah okay we've broken up which means it's very self-centered every few months due to my partner's depression lack of trust and negative outlook uh, he has been deeply scarred by his divorce and the several brief relationships he had before ours mm. I believe he might be bipolar. Oh, he has offices in both Antarctica and the uh, and the Arctic. North Pole. Yeah. His mood swings are extreme. He told me he loves me, and that I'm the best thing that has ever happened to him. He also says that I'm better off without him. Well, something's bringing him down. One day he's making grand plans for our future as a blended family. Then he suddenly falls into a depression. Nothing is possible. The future is bleak. Well, does he see a therapist? Almost every week he requires a few days of isolation to brood. He excludes me from helping him or trying to make things easier for him. See, he's shutting her out. He's, he's not including her. I love him very much. But we're not getting anywhere. He's got to find himself a shrink. I and feel like I'm falling, failing, excuse me, failing him as a partner. Right, but she doesn't know if it's her fault or not. She's assuming it's her, it's her fault. But it may not be. You well, know? it seems to me that the man is stuck in the past. He, he blames it on his wife, the divorce, and the brief affairs that he's had since. Yeah, then. but he needs to see a therapist. He needs to see a good psychologist, and and also a, a group therapy for him and the, and the woman. He needs to see somebody alone, and and with her, plus with her. I've become nervous and indecisive because his moods affect me so much. Right. A friend said that I'm obsessed with being his savior. Well, oh, she loves the guy, you know. She, she's, of course, you, you, you want your uh, partner's, uh, you have your partner's best interests at heart, and, you know. Um, but she sounds like a fixer, and guess what? You can't fix other people. They have to fix themselves. Because other people are selfish and stubborn and they need the, the blackthorn shillelagh to the side of the head to shake some sense into them. Like these, these idiots out here that are hoarders, these, these people with weird psychiatric problems. They just went into a house, a woman's house in Lodi the other day. Was she obese? And, and brought out 14 dogs. Oh my God. Some couldn't even walk. Etc. That's just and that, yet she was feeding cats outside. That, that was my next statement. It is cruelty. A person thinks they're helping these animals, these abandoned animals, but they're not. They're hurting these abandoned animals in the long run. You cannot hoard living things. 
You know, it's like, it reminds me a little of some kook you have living nearby, if you know what I mean. I believe that the 11 of the dogs were Shetlands, the long hairs, you know. Regardless what they were. And the other was were. a, uh, uh, with the floppy ears. Beagles? No, 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 floppy ears. Uh, the, basset the, hounds? No, the, 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 um, the dogs I like. <laughs> Uh, well, floppy ear. There's a lot of breeds with floppy ear. It's a hound dog, no, right? No, 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 no. It's not a hound no, dog. No, no, it's got fur, fur, a lot. Of, you know, fur, a lot of fur. Not the floppy ears. Yeah. Schnauzer. They, they hang down on. No, no, they don't have floppy ears. Doc they hound. They stand up. I said hound. It's got to be a hound. No hounds. It's my my favorite dog. Well, what dog has a floppy ear and is not a hound? This dog that I'm thinking I'm of. I'm waiting for you to sing the song. He you ain't, ain't nothing, nothing but a house dog. <laughs> crying all the time. Oh my no, God. but seriously, whatever. The, It'll come to me. The, Cocker. Huh? Cocker Spaniel. Oh, I hate them. I love them. Those are wussy, wimpy, freaking dogs. I love Cocker Spaniel. They, they're cute as hell, but they're too... I love them. Anyone, anyway, I like eagles, though. One was a cocker spaniel. And English bulldogs. Okay. All right. I don't want to give up on him or our relationship because I'm an optimist. Am I acting logically or rationally? I don't know anymore. Amy's answer? What does Amy have to say? One downside of being an optimist is that optimistic people tend to forget yesterday's trauma in the belief that everything will turn out well. They're like those sickening people I know on Facebook, those Pollyannas. Exactly. This can keep people in bad relationships because they genuinely believe that things will always improve. Yeah. Unfortunately, when it comes to people, patterns rule. Oh, yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, yeah. Your guy's black mood will return, and yesterday's drama will repeat itself, no matter what your outlook is. Well, Gary No posted that banner that pretty much said uh, a person's uh, inner unresolved issues is always seen externally as fate. Yeah. My yeah. fate is bad. I have bad luck. Or karma. Well, sometimes there Anything. is. thing. Sometimes there's real karma that comes back to bite somebody on the ass. Punishment for what they've done. I mean, you know. Uh, uh, but, yeah, I, I, I understand. I don't see it coming back to the CEO of Nestle. Karma. No, because in Satan's world, uh, 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 if you sell your soul to him, you are blessed uh, by him with riches. Oh, yeah. With much ma material uh, um, acquisition. That's correct. That, by the way, when you die, you cannot take any of it with you. Hey, our graves are the same. Size. All graves are the same. Yeah. You know, my grandmother was wrong about <laughs> graves. I've seen, I've seen uh, dug out graves uh, 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 awaiting a new casket, and they're not six feet on the ground. No? Are they supposed to be six feet on the ground? As far as I know, but who the hell knows? No matter how you shake Maybe it. Maybe they're trying to save space. No matter. Days. You want to save sp save space and funeral costs? Shrink wrap and bury them vertically. The Jews do straight, that, don't they? Straight down, man. The, vertically. The Jews do that? Yeah. To I'm, save on real estate. That's always what I heard. That is freaking funny. That they do it vertically. Verti because they don't want to buy the they don't want to buy all that land. Well, I don't know if it has anything to do with land. So you 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 plant them you plant them vertically into the ground. Screw, screw, if they're politicians, you got to screw them into the ground. What about and burning them? Cremation. Cremation. Well, that then you're really saving on real estate. Well, then there you go. Mausoleums are like for the rich. They they take up a they take up a lot of space and expensive marble and. You know, it doesn't matter. No matter how you shake it, you're dead. Yeah, but I need a statue or something when I'm dead. A bust. A bust or whatever. I need people to come there and worship, you know? Like they go up to Rangeley, Maine for Wilhelm Reich and his bust up there. 
Well, I would, I you would know. put your um, because people, people don't remember things. They gotta have something real to look at, to finger, to you know, a relic, something. Anyway, you cannot save him. You don't have that kind of power. Unfortunately, he can ruin you. Because black moods and depression trump a sunny disposition. So what she what she's saying is that as much as she's sincerely trying to help and save the relationship, it cannot be saved because Not by her because his issues will trump her actions. Like if somebody has deep issues, psychological issues, it's like my, my situation when I was way back when, when I was with my wife, I tried to, tried very hard to do my part. And, but if somebody has deep issues, it's not, you're not, you're not qualified. To, to rectify, to, to solve the uh, and problems. And it will ruin your issues. It'll drag you down. Yeah, there you go. Which it did. He desperately needs professional help. Ta-da. We knew that was coming. You have three children to think about. They are the ones who need a savior. Every single day. If you can't do what's best for you, do what's best for them. Yeah, well, Jack Lane, the late Jack Lane, says the most, the most important person on this planet is you. If you do not do what's best for you, who else is going to do it? <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know so. Well, he was referring to, you know, health, of course, health and fitness. We have one more for the road. Any, one any, more. any blimpo Chris Christie reading? To make it more, to make it more Christie-ish, in a way. Two weeks before election day, a majority of the nation's likely voters now expect the Republican Party to take control of the United States Senate. That's bad news for for us, for the mainstream. According to a new Associated Press GFK poll, oh boy. and by a growing margin, they say that's the outcome they would like to see. They would like to see. Well, that what's going to happen is they're going to speed up the end time prophecy if the Republicans have control of the House and the Senate, without a doubt. But the survey suggests many will cringe when they cast those ballots. Most likely voters have a negative impression of the Republican Party. They do now. And seven in ten are dissatisfied by its leaders in Congress. So why are they voting for them? So why are they voting for them? Yeah. Well, if, if the, uh, the ratings on Republicans continues to plummet, and somehow they turn around and vote in a Republican-controlled Senate and, and Congress, then I will bash relentlessly the American people and not the Republican Party, because the Republican Party is obvious. Anybody with a half a brain can see what their agenda is, but I will severely bash the people. Because uh, you voted him in. Hey, they complained about Chris Christie uh, uh, profusely after his first term, but what did they do? They re-elected Chris Christie for another four years and, and totally stabbed in the back a, a very smart and compassionate Barbara Bono who kicked his ass in the two debates. They, 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 the Democrats turned their back on Barbara Bono, mm -hmm. you know. So this shows you how fucked up the American people are. Well, what's the saying? 
we get the government that we yeah I think Grover Cleveland said that you we we will we, we will get exactly the kind of government that we deserve because yeah. we keep putting in the wrong people you, know, you ask for it and then they put you put in the wrong people they do nothing to make your life better only for the rich and what do you do you reelect them again mm -hmm. The Democrats win few accolades themselves. Impressions of the party among likely voters have grown more negative in the past month. Well, corporatists like Hillary are not making it any easier. In fact, Democrats are more trusted than the GOP on just two of nine top issues. That's it? Just two? The economy remains the top issue for likely voters. 91% call it extremely or very important. And the GOP has increased its advantage as the party more trusted to handle the issue. Oh, really? Oh, 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 sure. I trust the GOP. They don't want you to have, if you're poor, they don't want you to have health care. They don't want you to have Medicaid. They don't want you to have... Uh, uh, med, uh, welfare. They don't want you to have social security or Medicare or disability. They don't want. They just. They want you to die if you're poor. Oh, that's somebody you can trust. They're more trusted to handle the issue. Thirty-nine percent to thirty-one percent. Stupid asses. Americans are so stupid. With control of the Senate at stake, both parties say they are relying on robust voter turnout operations. Yeah. and monster campaign spending to lift their candidates in the final days. Mm -hmm. But the poll suggests any appeals they have made so far have not done much to boost turnout among those already registered. The share who report that they are certain to vote in this year's contests has risen just slightly since September. And interest in news about the campaign has held steady. Among all adults, 38% say they would like the Democrats to wind up in control of Congress. To 36% for the GOP. 38 to 36. That's within the margin of error. It's tie. You might as well say it's a dead heat, right? Dead heat. But the GOP holds a significant lead among those most likely to cast ballots. 47% of these voters favor a Republican-controlled Congress. Well, uh, Republicans and teabaggers that support them are much more fanatical than uh, um, progressive liberals, so they are more likely to show up at the polls because the fanatic does that, you know, carries it out. They're, they're insane plan. Anyway, it's 47% to 39%. Then I, then I have the same question I asked before. Just name me two things that Republicans have ever done for you. Proof is in the pudding. Name it. That's a shift in GOP's favor since an AP GFK poll in late September when the two parties ran about even among likely voters. In all, the poll finds that 55% of likely voters now expect Republicans to win control of the Senate, up from 47% last month. Why? What have they done to deserve the sin? Show me the evidence that they do anything to help mainstream. Not just the poor and the homeless, anything to help mainstream. Nothing. There is no evidence to prove that they help mainstream at all. Just the top 20%. Mm hmm. That's it, you know. So why do they find, they find all this support? There must be a lot of really crazy 
nuts that are spellbound to this cult. It must it must have to do with this 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 crap, this bullshit propaganda about you know God blesses America and you know apple pie and and uh, oh if you're if you're pro if you're pro choice you're 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 a baby killer yeah. and, and if you if you 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 support gay marriage you're you're this big sin sinner and uh, uh, hey what about the sins of the elitists the Republicans isn't a sin a sin is uh, one sin is the same as another sin it is a sin not to pay a worker proper wages what about not helping the poor at all isn't that a big sin absolutely uh, there's hundreds of passages in the Bible where God commands commands say that again command commands you to not only help the poor but to lift the poor up so they're no longer poor. Well, in a country like the United States of America, there technically should be no poor and homeless. There should not be a poor person in America. And, and, veterans returning from war should get the utmost preference and respect mm -hmm. and financial, financial and medical care. Utmost! People don't even want to Instead give them Instead of being homeless. Huh? People don't even want to give them jobs. Hire the vet. First priority. Take care of the vets coming back. They put their lives on the line for the war profiteer. Oh, yeah. War profiteering. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they you make know? money for those people, don't they? I mean, you, you told me the last time America, America's borders were threatened and, and the last time our freedom was threatened was World War II. Pearl Harbor. Pearl and Harbor. Was, and, and that was Hawaii. After that, America's freedom and borders were never threatened. All the wars after World War II. Yeah, and um, well, oh, they say 911. But 911 was an inside job. Okay? As a terrorist attack. Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda was is not a country. That's correct. Uh, ISIS is not a country. No, they want to be a caliphate, no. A state. A caliph state. Where, where's the land going to be? They got it now. They got land in Syria and Iraq. Now they're trying to get the city of Kobani. Are they? Are they? Which Sun is near the Turkish border. Are they Sunnis? The the ISIS people? Uh, yes, they are. Because they're 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 anti-Kurd. They they right? They they attack the Kurdish the Kurdish people. Kurdistan. Well, the Kurdish people are now uh, uh, supposedly they're supposed to be uh, the Turkeys and the Kurdish are supposed to help each other, but the Turks aren't doing their fair share. It's their stinking town or whatever. Is is the, <coughs> Kobani? Is, is Kurdistan? I think. Is Kurdis? Is there a country called Kurdistan now? It's not a country. It's an area of Iraq. So they they're part of Iraq. Okay. Yeah. Nor Northern Iraq. Northern Iraq. Which happens to be near Syria. Uh, Jordan. No, it's the other side. Well, yeah, right. We, we know. No, wait a minute. It's, it's uh, the border Syria, hold right? Hold on. Hold on. No, Turkey is border Syria. No. Turkey's got the long border there. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, um, um, uh, well, plus Turkey has the advantage of being on the Black Sea and the Mediterranean. You know, they have. It's always an advantage when you have uh, ports, ports, co yeah. coastal uh, uh, yep. areas. But anyway, this is what we're where we're at. We're closing in. Not just Halloween, but we're closing in on Election Day, and uh, it's extremely important for the uh, the good people of America, including the uh, uh, progressive liberals, to make it their business to show up at the polls November fourth and vote. Be be as fanatical as the Republicans are. Be as fanatical in terms of fighting the forces of evil by voting them out 
and show up, make it your business. It's your responsibility to vote. If you do not vote, you have no right to complain. What if the voting machines are rigged? Then, my friends, <laughs> kiss then, your ass goodbye. Then, my friends, the Republican Party will have fulfilled its role in the end time prophecy and it will be accelerated or it will just be fulfilled prophecy which is another the destruction shall show. come from within right like that Nick like Nikita Khrushchev said we shall bury you no well we shall break you no, bury no. you bury you maybe and that's found on the start that thing with your shoe Maybe that's where Ivan Drakov from the Rocky movie got his uh, I shall break you. Ah. We shall bury you. Well, they said the United States, uh, like other civilizations of the past, will destroy itself from within. Yeah, well, that's the only... Uh, and he's actual, right. That's the only actual enemy that you have, because... Uh, like ISIS. ISIS at its uh, top has 30,000 people. Wow. If you direct, how many air flights have they had now, strikes and everything? All you had to do was a couple and just kill them all. Yeah. You find out where they're bivouacked and you blow the damn thing up. Or like these, the, 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 uh, the, they got all of these um, videos online where they're moving around in all kinds of trucks and tanks and marching, etc. Well, remember back in the Iraq war, the right. first one in the 90s there, when the Iraqi soldiers were actually giving up and running, moving down the highway with all their... We blew them the hell out of there. The highway was strewn right. with the trucks and cars and destruction that we did. Oh, you mean to tell me that we couldn't have done that, ISIS? ISIS is serving a purpose right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? They are our new Ebola enemy, our pandemic, which we need to gear up our war machine for. Sounds like they might be the king of the south. And we, they're not the king of the south. Has it, it's not time yet? It's not time yet? The king of the south will be headed by Iran and will include such states over there as Egypt, Syria, and those other states around there. That will be the king of the south. I hope Erad Radical Islam. I hope not because I, I like to get some real Persian clubs from Iran. Forget about it. I don't want to forget about it. I think they have a, uh, don't they have a, uh, a sanction now that you can't uh, buy them? In effect, right now, the Im importing is very limited. Like we get, we we'll get their pistachios and dry fruit, or you what know. The hell do we need to import pistachios for? Because pistachios are very tasty. We get them from California. Yeah, but are they GMO pistachios? No, they haven't GMO the pistachios yet. And green, I don't think greens are GMO yet either. Greens, no, collard the, greens, not the kale. lettuces and the kales and stuff. Some no. things are not have not been GMO. No, they the reason they got they went with soy and corn is because they are heavily used. Ah, that's true. Yeah. Especially corn. Oh, you know, corn, with corn. High fructose corn high syrup. Corn, good, good. corn syrup. Hey, I had one of my things the other day that I, 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 I in my soup. It was in my soup. What was? Corn syrup in my soup. Yeah, what the hell? Why do they need to sweeten soup? Oh my God. I can understand putting that shit in baked goods, but soup? My soup, yes. Well, I'm going to go. Uh, I have to stop at the store, and I will, I will see if they have the uh, Bob's Red Mill certified organic uh, corn grits or polenta. So I could change off, uh, but I will not eat corn unless it's certified organic. Mm. Yeah, because I don't trust. I will not mm. eat regular, you know, eat GMO corn. Mm -hmm. But corn is very tasty, as everyone well knows. 
Well, actually, if it's a polenta, you can make a you can make a corn cake out of it. Like a, well, an you can do a lot with corn polenta. Yeah, polenta is a uh, like pre. I think it's pre-steamed or pre-cooked uh, corn, so it's it's. Um, it could be compacted. You know, you can add it to. Uh, you can fry them and make uh, little sandwiches out of them. You can make veggie nice. veggie burgers. You can well anything burgers. stick anything sticky glutinous can yeah. be a veggie burger because it has to congeal. It has to yeah, form a patty. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you for joining us for uncensored, hard hitting uh, truth. This is James P. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. Bill saying, "Have a safe and fun filled." Uh, enjoyable Halloween week because I won't be seeing you for Halloween next time I uh, possibly will be seeing you on the Day of the Dead God willing November 2nd next Sunday so um, have a good bye bye and of course I apologize for me not being dressed up I just don't want to hear bullshit from these jabronis criticizing me for uh, talking about a serious matter while being dressed up in an outfit for Halloween. You know, it is always... John Stewart does that every day. John Stewart? Well, John Stewart cracks jokes every day. That's correct. And mixes seriousness. Well, we, we crack jokes, but I guess, I guess... I guess these people were too fixated on me in my costume. Maybe, maybe you are too fixated on but they're making comments. So? It bothers me. Ah, me no! Because I care about... You the, care about what they the say. Ra the ratings and how we, how we are, um, uh, how we are seen in the public. Yeah, but you don't care about those people. No, they just make their comment and they disappear. I know, but you care about them. I say, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm saying the solution to the problem mm -hmm. is you don't care about those people. Yeah, well. Ah, oh, well. Well, I guess the solution is to uh, ignore them. That's great. Right. All right. Well, that's what Sean Hollywood told me. Just okay. ignore them. Ignore the the disrupt the disruptors and the haters and the and the petty people and uh, just ignore them. Mm. He says, "If you if you don't ignore them, you just you're feeding the flames, mm -hmm. feeding the fire. Because what they want, they like, they love attention, right? No, you're extending control to them. Yeah. All right. Say so long to these jabronis. So long, jabrons. <laughs>